What's up, everybody? Elders Bell back with another another edition of Letter of Sports Show. And man, I was shocked. I was shocked. I know Kyrie asked for a trade. I really didn't think he would get one. But more importantly, I didn't think he would go to Boston. I, I, that was the last team I thought he would get traded to. But it happened. Traded him for IT, uh, Jay Crowder, and a European guy, Zizix. I do apologize if I am butchering your name, and I'm pretty sure I am butchering your name. No disrespect. Anyway, what do I think about the trade? Shocking. But everybody everybody wants to know who, who, who came out on top. And honestly, when I first looked at it, I was like, okay, the Cavaliers are getting three players and a draft pick. It seems like they made out. And I still think they did. They did. They did make out better, but that's more long term. As far as like immediate, I think uh, the Boston Celtics came out on top because they got one. They 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 let go three players, right? But Kyrie is better than uh is better than than uh, it in my personal opinion. Now that's no disrespect to all you Boston fans out there and all you it lovers. I'm not saying he's trash. I'm just saying, if I had to pick between the two of them, I pick Kyrie over it. So I think they made out. I think they're they're uh, the Celtics still are are deep team. I think they'll do damage this year. Do I think they'll? Do I think they'll beat the the Cavaliers? Honestly, it's too early. I I, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, as far as the Cavs, I like the Jay Crowder pick up. He can get you ten to fifteen. 15 on a good night, but most most likely a 10 point game. He's consistent, a good defender, gives intensity. So I like I really like him. Zizic, I, I I really don't know about him. I haven't seen him. I haven't even seen seen him on YouTube highlights. So I can't even really give you that. Do I think the Cavs will be good? I think they'll be back in the finals. I don't know if this alone is enough to put them over the top for Kate for uh, for the uh, Golden State Warriors. In my honest opinion, no, it doesn't. It's just like okay. I would have a raised eyebrow, like, hmm, that's interesting. But I wouldn't sit there and say, oh, oh, my God, call Draymond. Hey, call Iggy. We we in trouble right now. Call call Steph. Tell them to start training. I don't think they're doing that right now. Now, they get some more players who are, like, start quality, then it starts. it's time to start hitting the gym ASAP and say, hey, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got a match this time. We got a seven-game series in our hands. But as of now, I don't think it, it's still, it's still, it's still gold state all day, all day. But let me know what you guys think. Were you shocked that he got traded to the Boston Celtics? Do you think it was a good trade? For, do you think it was a good idea for them to give up all that for just Kyrie Irving? Let me know what your thoughts. And do you think, if you think the Cavs came out on top and they this can put them over the top for the Golden State Warriors, let me know. I'd be happy to debate this issue with you.